Hey, what's up, Philly Nation? It's your guy, Cool Eagle, back here with another video. Just want to come talk to you guys right quick because um, we're apparently uh, near a trade for Carson Wentz um, to the Bears or the Colts. With that in quotations, because you never know who to believe at this point. Uh, the media is just manipulating this fan base because they know that we are the most reactionary fan base to any kind of news that comes out. Y'all have all seen it. Y'all probably follow a lot of news outlets on Twitter and have your own opinions about that. But apparently Carson Wentz, um, who's a very smart guy, he's never been dumb. He knows how to read a room and he knows he's going to get traded. He knows his time in Philly is pretty much over this point. And he's spoken to everyone but Howie Roseman. And rightfully so, Howie Roseman is a common factor in a lot of our problems this year. And a lot of the reason why a lot of us are stressed out and trying to figure out what direction this team is going heading into this next season. Um, but but I will tell you this, Carson Wentz uh, did achieve a victory after the Super Bowl. And he wasn't even nowhere near it, probably. Uh, because he shows that a bad offensive line can affect a quarterback. Defense wins championships. And all year, uh, we put all this blame on Carson Wentz uh, for his many failures. Now, mind you, he is accountable for a lot of those missing open receivers uh, trying to play hero ball. But at the same time, if the pieces around him aren't sufficient enough and you have an offense that's been declining since its peak in 2017, this is this is the result you get. Now, I know people say, oh, well, what about 2019? Well... You have to switch it up every year. Uh, like, sorry, like the great Shannon Sharp says, you have to update your resume every year. And Doug Peterson did not do that. He stayed with the same tricks going into the season. As, and, and that's why we've seen a 31st ranked offense compared to last year where we were, what, like 16, 17 in the league. So um, I don't know if Jalen Hurts will be as good as Carson Wentz from 2017 and 2019, if you can convince me that he is off a four-game sample, then I'm sold. Uh, if you can convince me that Nick Sirianni is who he says he is, then I'm sold. But right now, I don't see this team winning more than six games next year, honestly. Because if you look at the teams who made the playoffs this year, who out of those eight teams can we seriously beat? Seriously. Like, let's go a list, okay? Tampa Bay, we're not beating them. A 44-year-old Tom Brady is... <laughs> okay. Um, Green Bay, we're not beating them. Washington, if they get a quarterback and keep that same defense, we're not beating them. Um, the Cowboys, who are going to be better, Dak probably on a proven mission. Like, we're not beating them. And it, it just doesn't... Like, this isn't fair to Eagles fans, that they have to suffer under... The regime of Howie Roseman. And I am so concerned how we're going to approach this draft. Because I've heard a lot of people say that we shouldn't draft a wide receiver because we already drafted three last year. And I put some thought into it. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, if it was up to me, I'd draft the left tackle in the first round. Just because you don't have anyone that's bona fide at the position. Andre Dillard, been too hurt, hasn't proven enough. Jason Peters, too old too many penalties and, you know, can't stay on the field. So if you're going to pick anyone in the first round, it's going to be a offensive tackle or you're going to have to draft someone on defense because you can't keep drafting these wide receivers and you haven't developed the ones that you already have. You know, so it, it just doesn't make sense. And then um, I'm, dude, I honestly don't know what to say. Usually I have a lot to say, but it's, like, what more can I say? Um, but I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts, man. And um, hope y'all stay safe out here, man. And get ready because it's going to be a long off season.